All right. So based on this analysis, we're going to go ahead and jump to uh, section 3F, which is identifying high and unusual payments. How do we do this? We are going to see why is it that we have um, payments of about $100,000. So I want to take a look at those and see if they're uh, if they're relevant, if they're uh, correct. And then the exercise S it's going to ask us to to look at the number of records that are just below the 80,000 field. So let's create a direct extract. If you remember how to do this is we will do a, a stratification of, uh, I'm sorry, a direct extraction of these uh, records. And we are going to call these uh, uh, unusual and high payments. And in the criteria, we will look at the amount and say we want the amount to be greater than or equal to 70,000 and less than or equal to, oh, I'm sorry, but if I got to say an amount is less than or equal to, uh, or I should be, uh, I should just be less than 80,000, right? Which will identify the ones, the payments that were uh, in the stratum of 70 to 80,000. And I also want to do an or statement that selects those payments that are higher than $100,000. One, zero, one, two, three. All right, so that should work because this is joint and then that's or. So this, this, is, this is perfect. Uh, and that is exactly what it's asking us to do. We're going to validate an exit. There's an invalid parameter. So let's go ahead and find out what is it that I did. Oh, so what am I missing? I am missing the amount. The amount or the amount has to be higher than 100,000. So let's validate an exit. I did not do that on purpose. I actually made the mistake. And let's go ahead and press OK. And once we generate that direct extract, we can see that I have a bunch of records uh, totaling six million dollars and some change 6.887 records let's do the field statistics let's generate them um so i have 87 records with a total of 6.8 million dollars um now if i look at the records themselves ah, if i actually look at the data then i can see that uh, there's a lot of cash associated with that word uh, i mean there's a lot of uh, let's let's list them by supplier number. So let's sort them by supplier number. This charismatic is kind of interesting. Um, they are M zero. There is I could I could do an aggregation from here and, and look at the summary, but we can do that later. Um, I could just say, I don't, we can do this in class instead, uh, deviation to see where I would focus on, which which vendors would have. So I would aggregate um, uh, all of these records in a different database by doing a quick summary of this particular extract. Um, and then you see that there are some that are cash in, cash in, cash in with the same M number. So it's kind of interesting. And this is Matt Cash and Company. It just looks kind of weird. The invoice numbers don't seem to have the sequence that is normal. Um, there are some other transactions, but they look pretty pretty normal just, just by looking at them, right? So I would immediately want to look at these. Let's say anything else that I can find that doesn't follow a pattern. You see how everything else has a pattern except those? I the, the, uh, uh, there are no duplicates, but this particular the M100 and the X actually tells us that um, we can we can definitely select these for further identification. So anyway, let's go ahead and print the screen and call it an exercise complete. Thank you.